Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the currently unreleased Volga Nubla Turbo? Nubla? Nubla? <laughs> I'm not really sure how um, to pronounce the Nub Nubla. It's spelled N-E-B-U-L-A. Um, so I'm going to go with Nubla. Volga Nubla Turbo. And uh, this is obviously based around a Volvo 242. And it looks really, really close, man. Um, except for the grill, that's one thing which is quite different. But other than that, it looks spot on, you know. And I think it's actually quite a nice looking um, vehicle. Yeah, Rockstar have done a really good job of it. There's not really much you can say about it. It is quite a standard looking box vehicle. Like I said, it looks very, very similar to the Volvo 242. And um, it is called a Volga Nubla Turbo. It's going to cost 797000 when it comes out, when it is released. Not sure when it is going to be released because it is part of the drip feed content from the Casino and Resort DLC. Um, but yeah, man, without any further ado, let's get into this beast. Get into LS Customs and see what sort of customizations we can do to it. So here we go, dudes. As you pull into the LS Customs, you'll see the Volga Nubla Turbo is in the Sports Classic category. Uh, which is pretty standard, I suppose, because it is a classic vehicle. Uh, without any further ado, let's crack on with the armor. We're going to get 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. Quite a lot of options for the front bumper, which is nice to see. Um, so the first one is a color-coded bumper, but then you also remove the extension just underneath, which I'm not really sure about. I think it looks a bit odd like that. Um, yeah, so I'm not a fan of the primary front bumper. Um, the race fogs is pretty cool. So by the looks of it, you could potentially create a rally car out of this, which is which is all gravy, baby. And you even get a sticker bomb version of it. Uh, removing it all together is, you know, different, I suppose. Very odd. Very different. Um, I suppose you could go with something like that. I mean, like I said, it looks completely different to anything else which is in the game, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go with the, the no bumper and drift into cooler. Why the hell not? And then we're going to go to the rear bumper. Only one option for the rear, and it is to color code it. And I think, personally, it looks better stock. So I'm going to stay stock for the rear bumper. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhaust. Only three additional options for the exhaust. And we've got the dual tip, the tuna, and the epic bean can. And obviously we're going to go with the epic bean can. It's got to be done. Then we've got the fenders. And we can just stick up on the fenders. Is it just... Oh, it is both of them. I thought it might have just been the one. Um, not sure about that. It might look better if we had a front bumper on there. Uh, but because we don't have a front bumper, I don't think I'm going to stick up on them. So I'm going to... Leave the fenders stock. Then we're going to go to the grill. So we can plane the grill, which is nice. I like that. And then we've got the fog lights. And then we can remove the headlights. Uh, not a big fan of that one. I think the plane grill is a lot better. So we're going to go with that bad boy. It's a shame we couldn't remove the grill altogether. That would have been pretty cool if we could kind of strip down the front part of the car. But, you know, it is what it is. Next, we've got the hood. And we've got a carbon hood. We've got a sticker bomb hood. So the sticker bomb is quite high up on this car. Next, we've got a rusty hood. You know, I think that actually fits the car quite nicely. Um, it's a shame that the paint around the rust doesn't match the colour of the car. That's a bit strange, but um, other than that, I think it actually suits this vehicle because it's an older style car and it being rusty makes a little bit of sense. Uh, the exposed turbo hood, I actually really dig that. I think that looks pretty sweet. Not sure about the dual one. At least it's working, no? It, it vibrates and moves with the with acceleration, which is awesome. That looks cool. I actually like it with the removed with the removed hood. Uh, like I said already, it's a shame we can't remove the fr the front fascia of the car as well, because I think that would, f you know, fold in quite nicely together with the removed hood, the removed bumper, and then if you could remove the front grill and headlights, that would look a lot better. But never never mind. It's all good. And then we get the same one, but with the uh, the double turbo. I think the double turbo looks a lot better without the hood on. I mean, this one here looks a bit weird, um, but without the hood, the double turbo actually looks all right. I think I think it looks pretty fucking mean. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit crazy with this build, and I am gonna get the no words needed 
<laughs> which is this double turbo with the hood removed, man. That looks fucking pretty sick, <laughs> in my opinion, anyway. Uh, then we're going to go to the lights. We're going to get the Xeon headlights. Next, we've got liveries, and we've got the 70s cooled. Wow, I actually like that, man. That looks pretty cool. That livery would actually look really good with a, maybe a brown metallic um, paint job. Maybe. Um that's um, that's definitely one to think about. I'm I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, I'm not a fan of these track ones. You know, it's just my opinion. I'm not a massive fan of track liveries, and also I'm not a fan of these types of liveries either. You know, the the crazy patterned ones. Um, this one looks alright. I don't look too bad. Rogue Hill. Um, not really my sort of thing, but it's it's okay. The graffiti one actually looks alright. You know, it looks not too bad. Um, it's a lot different to anything we've had in the game before. Uh, I can't think with I can't think off the top of my head if we've ever had a graffiti um, livery on any other car in the game. Um, so that's a nice touch. We've got the rusty shark, and then we've got another you know sh track livery. Um, steampunk. What's that like? Loads of clogs and um, sorry, clocks and cogs. Mm, not really sure what I think of that one. And again, another crazy pattern livery. Um, yeah, so I really like this 70s cooled one. That looks awesome. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, then we've got louvers. we got back window louvers. And we've got the same back window louvers, but the same color as the car. Um, I'm just going to go with the black louvers. Because I think it then ties in nicely with this rear bumper. Uh, then we've got mud guards. We do have stock mud guards on anyway. And then we've got the ones with a secondary color. Mm, not really sure about that. Uh, so I'm going to stay stock with the mud guards. Uh, we're going to skip past the plate. We've got a respray now. Um, primary color. I did originally say metallic, but I think maybe if we go classic and find like a brownie color, uh, we'll go upwards because I think they're more. Yeah, there we go. So we've got a bleach brown. Ah, see, sort of like a like a creamy kind of color. Uh, the straw brown. Mm, maybe not so much. I think the bleach brown actually looks the best. In my opinion, that one actually doesn't look too bad, but then you kind of lose the bottom part a little bit. Um, or just the beach with brown. <laughs> that looks fucking nuts. <laughs> oh man, that looks old school. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure if it's. Uh, it's got to be a brown. It's got to be a brown. Definitely not the maple brown. Not the felt of brown. It's got to be the beach with brown, or was it the. Yeah, the bleached brown or the beech wood brown. And, oh man, that's a toughie. I think I'm going to go with the beech wood brown. And then maybe the bleached brown for the roof. Let's see how that works. Um, yeah, so for the secondary colour, we are going to go classic once again. But this time we're going to go for uh, the bleached brown. Yeah, actually, I'm not a fan. Let's see what the wood... Not the wood beach, it is the beach wood. Oh man, I like it. I really, really like that. Um, obviously not going to be too many people's um, sort of thing. But for me, I think that looks fucking old school as hell. And really, really cool. <laughs> I like it, man. Um, we don't get a trim option on this car, so we do just have to stick with what we've got. Uh, but we've got a roll cage, which may change the seats. Which it doesn't, unfortunately. Um... But we've got, but because we've got this crazy ass double turbo engine and the massive intercooler with the front bumper delete and that, we've got to have a roll cage in there, man. So we're going to go with that. The roof, we've got a. Oh shit! <laughs> we can have luggage on the roof, man. Oh no! I'm not. Uh, what to do? What to do? I think maybe get the large roof rack. That looks pretty cool. Um. With, with regards to luggage, not so sure. I think we're going to go with the large roof rack though because it obviously adds to the old school feel of it. Um, I think if we have luggage in the roof rack, it, it's, it's kind of overstepping the mark a little bit with the kind of look that I'm going for. <laughs> so we're just going to go with the large roof rack. Then we've got a spoiler um, so we can stick up on the trunk, which gives a traction bonus. Whatever. All right. Um, so now you add vinyl stickers to your car and it adds traction, apparently. Very odd. Very fucking strange indeed. Then the same goes, but with a carbon. That's... I don't get it. Why are these under spoilers? Why don't they just make a fucking... 
category called trunk and then just have these three in there that makes more sense and then you could have one of these spoilers on top of one of these trunks what the hell's all that about it doesn't make any sense um yeah um, so i don't know i don't know what fucking rocks i were thinking there um but i doubt i'm going to be going for a spoiler because again it's going to ruin the kind of um you know old school vibe i've got going on at the moment plus we've got the louvers uh, i'm not really sure what's going on with this spoiler we've got two added holes in the back of the car which is very strange um so yeah i'm not blown away by the spoiler option and again i'm really confused of why these three are in the spoiler category they should have just been in a category by themselves but is what it is next we've got the suspension do we want to slam this bitch oh we do want to slam this bitch because we get a bit of camber on that as well see the camber changes the we've got a competition suspension but when we go up to sports suspension the ride doesn't raise up but the camber does change which is i like that man that's cool uh, so same on the street, the the ride doesn't the ride height doesn't go up, but the camber does change. And then when it does go up, is when it's on the lowered suspension. And then we've got the stock suspension, which is crazy high. So we're going to slam it on competition suspension and get that awesome camber going as well. Um, next, we've got transmission. We'll go get the race transmission turbo. Obviously, we're going to grab the turbo tuning for the wheels. I actually really like these wheels. Um, they're kind of like rally esque. But I'm feeling for the old school kind of look, we might have to change it up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go have a look in the low rider category and maybe grab something like this, like the flare or the maybe. No, actually, the wired is a little bit too far fetched for me. Um, I like the flared. I think they look pretty cool. Or maybe even something like this. You know, it's very similar to the stock ones, but they're a little bit more retro, you know, in my opinion. These ones, the classic rod, yeah, I think they always look good on old cars. Maybe go for some drag wheels, maybe. Actually, I think the Gucci are the ones, they're actually probably a winner. A nice steel looking. Yeah, man, I think these wheels are awesome, you know, if you're building a rally car out of this, um, out of this Volk, Volker. I can't even fucking remember what it's called. The Nubler? Nubler. There you go, the Nubler Turbo. Um, yeah, so if you're building like a rally car out of the Nubla Turbo, th these stock wheels are definitely going to be ones to keep. Um, but because I'm not, I'm going for like an old school kind of drag racing looking thing. Um, so I'm going to go with the Gooch steel wheels that we've got there. And we're also going to keep, actually I might make them black because then it'll tie in a little bit with the black in the livery and also uh, the black on the roof rack. So if we go wheel colour and change them to carbon black. Yeah man, that sets off nice really like that uh tire design i think we're gonna get white walls on this because they're low rider aren't they yeah so we're gonna skip the tire design obviously back, grab the bulletproof tires if you haven't already but mine have already got it and what we got to finish to finish off guys as always we're gonna go into windows and grab the light smoke window tint so let's get out onto the streets and see how this bad boy looks in the daylight of ls and um i'm loving that cambo on that I think this is the first vehicle that I can think of, that I've customised anyway, that when you slam it to competition suspension, it gives you a more intense camber. So obviously that's something that Rockstar has done on purpose. And I love it, man. I think that looks fucking sweet. I actually really, really dig this Nubla Turbo. It's... Oh my... Not really sure about the, the acceleration like that. It's very wheel spinny that's just me putting my finger down um so off the line it's going to be very hard to grab um, to pick up traction and then once you go in a straight line it does pick up speed quite nicely but it doesn't look like it's going to be very quick it took a while to get up to 90 miles an hour then and it struggled to go over it um if you can see the speedo in the top right you can see that it's not picking up speed very fast um so this car is going to be a visual thing in my opinion i don't think it's going to be anything that you're going to want to buy for performance even though it's got two crazy ass looking turbos on there it's definitely not one for um for the performance because it's um the, the traction's not there off the line it is going to be very slidey very spinny uh, a lot of wheel spin going on um taking the corners 
it feels very drifty as well which isn't isn't great um, it feels very heavy on the steering and there you go it's just no traction on the on the um, you know when you pull off it's really really shit to be honest um, performance wise it's the steering does feel very heavy and then when you do get into it it just like that it just wants to slide out um, which is very disappointing uh, but it looks wise it looks awesome if you are if you you know if you want for car shows or whatever then this is definitely going to be a car um, for you if you're buying cars to race then this definitely won't be a car to buy for racing um, because I just don't think the performance is there it's not very fast it's got ugh, fucking no traction whatsoever off the line um, the steering is really heavy and it just wants to spin on every co you know when it does stick into a corner so it takes a while for it to want it to turn and then when it does turn it just does this and it's really hard to get it back maybe that's got something to do with the camber on it I don't know um, maybe it's something that someone can experiment on um, but I highly doubt it I reckon it's just you know the way this car is you know whether it's got a, a camber or not um, you know it is it's, it's, um, it's reasonable you know it's acceptable to have you could probably quite happily plod around ls the map that is just just driving about um quite happily in this but if you want to get into any sort of high speed situation i think you're pretty fucked to be honest <laughs> um but other than that man it is a pretty cool looking car and like i said based around a volvo 242 and i'm really digging it and um yeah i actually really really like the look of it the customization on it is definitely up there with the best of them i really like the customization you can do to this uh, the general look of it as stock is awesome as well the only thing that does let it down is obviously the performance but um you know you don't buy every car in gta for the performance uh, so in my opinion this is definitely one to purchase if you're only looking for a show car rather than a race car um, but yeah with that being said that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.